up guys, Fumon here and welcome back to another video. Slowly clawing myself out of a well of procrastination. So, it's been a pretty interesting week for the last few days. I've been going through a few uh, revelations that will be covered in a different video, really pertaining to fear of success and how I'm really overcoming certain barriers, but I'll talk about that later. Today, I realized I'm rich. Like, I'm really, really rich. I have made a lot of money in the last few days for one simple reason. I'm not wasting so much money on vape coils and juice and... 101 different mods and stuff like that and I'm not like it's 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 very similar I remember the last time this happened to me was when I stopped when back back when I was a serious alcoholic and I was I finally managed to to quit alcohol and I was like where is all this money coming from I was just checking my account and I was just like oh my, I'm just so used to my account being so so much less towards the end of the month then I check and it's like oh, that's a few more zeros than I would actually expect and it's like wow like it actually makes sense and I was spending so much money I, I it turns out I was spending on average anywhere between 10 to 20 pounds a week on a combination of new coils mods um uh, juice and the occasional different vaporizer because I had a horrible string of luck with, with, with the vapes that I buy online They always seem to break down so I'd have to keep buying parts and stuff like that and I get luck Yeah, so I, I, I would save a lot of money and just a pro tip for anyone who is still vaping and can't quit and is still buying from it from from in stores and I kind of feel bad for the stores but don't buy from in stores just just buy them online because if you buy them in store like I when I first started and I, I, I don't know why I'm, I, I'm advocating this but if you are like come on like in the store it's you buy one 10 milliliter bottle for five pounds and three of them for ten pounds right one 10 milliliter bottle for five pounds on eBay I shouldn't be saying this but I got um, three 100 milliliter bottles for 25 pounds. That works out nearly, I, I worked out it was like five times more, it's either five or 10 times, I, I don't wanna do the math right now. It's more effective, and it's the reason why these stores are closing down. But forget I just said that. Stop vaping. Because <laughs> I remember after I after I discovered that my vaping habit just got worse because I, I suddenly had juice coming out of my ears. But even still, I didn't stop because the more the more vape juice that I had access to, the more I would vape. It was a constant cycle. I like I said in my last video, I was going from room to room with the vape. I was going from place to place with the vape. I could not stop vaping. It was something that was just part of where I was. If I'd wake up, have a vape, go to bed, just have a quick one before. And it was, and so the more more I had and the higher higher and higher and higher the nicotine content the more I actually wanted to do to the point where I was like look like I might as well have a third line specifically devoted to inhaling and exhaling um, um, uh, vaporized juice uh, va 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 vaporized air and it's like it, it was pointless but now that I've stopped it's like I, I feel a lot calmer and a lot more relaxed and a lot more uh, conscious in general of, of just what I'm doing but I I have a lot more money now and it's nice because Christmas is here and I haven't bought a single present because I'm one of those guys that literally waits till the last minute to buy all the presents and it does not help that I literally get paid tomorrow which is about four or five days before Christmas so literally my picture comes in and I'm just I'm just going like, I don't know, like Santa, like chasing after Santa's sled before he gets back from his rounds to chuck me a few presents. But yeah, so I am I am really, really glad about that. But my cravings um, are nearly gone. And I say that because what I usually experience in the first few days of stopping vaping is that I'll, I'll have these periods whereby I'll be an intense demon for like five minutes and then they'll be fine and then an intense amount them and it will be from various periods of the day sometimes mainly around about five or six or so and then if I can just survive those those times I'm fine now what I'm finding is that day after day the random periods of fiendishness start to get less and less and less to the point where now I haven't felt anything all day I haven't felt anything but saying that I know that in about it's about five o'clock now in about an hour's time I'm gonna have to be careful because that's when I start to get complacent and so I've got, I, I, I've got um, um, an Epsom salt bath ready I've got some soup ready I've got just got stuff to just to just calm my nerves and just 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 distract me and I'm gonna do some modding or I don't know something to just distract me but it lasts for like five minutes and, and, and then it's gone and then I wake up and I tell you, I wake up and I feel really good now. Like, I wake up and there's no more, uh, I mean, part of it is because I am on a juice fossil. I really do, do do need to make a video about that. But I've been dealing with fear of, fear of, fear of success, aka procrastination, which I'll talk about in another video. But I've, I've been waking up and I just feel so much more whole. Like, I wake up and there's no longer, like, a fog of, like, Ugh. Not only that, but my tongue has the, it's no longer... Oh wait, 
I've just had some, um, <laughs> it's no longer black tongue. I've just had some water kefir, which has some um, molasses in it, which is why my tongue is probably black. But um, it's when I'm not drinking molasses juice, fermented molasses juice, uh, it's actually white because before the vape juice, it would still be on my tongue when I, uh, when I would wake up. And if I was to wake up and then spit into the sink, it would be the same color as the juice that I was smoking before. So it just, go, just goes to show just how much your body is constantly trying to push out all that stuff, even days afterwards. And um, it's not as bad as smoking though, because w w um, when it was smoking, I was literally waking up and just coughing up. I call them lung cookies. And um, I'm just spitting them out into the sink in the, in the, in the toilet. And it's all the phlegm and all the stuff that the all the tar that the lung has, has the lungs have have encased in mucus and they try and get it out but that was that 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 one for days now it isn't actually that much actually now it's it's a lot easier so i've been doing that and um just feeling a lot better in general so yeah what's i going to say no no fab i keep saying no fab no vape day nine and i'll see you all whenever i can stop procrastinating for out peace click